stay in this light because the lighting in my room is terrible. But I, I just realized I, I, what am I even saying? I just realized I never showed you what my clothes look like from that day that I've highlighted it because I never uploaded that video. So here's that. So the thing is, um, I got all the clothes that I tied dyed except for one that was actually my favorite. Well, my favorite. I like all of them, but there was this one shirt that I can't find. It was like purpley, blue, green colors, and I can't find it. But once I do find it, I will show you guys. But um, I have four things that are not all clothing. One thing's for my dog. I got. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. So this is my bed. Hello. I might have to bring this onto the, my rug, okay. This doll in the hangers, this might be a little bit easier to see. Okay, so, um, there is this, we're gonna start with the, um, my least favorites to my favorites. This is this little tote bag. Now, this was with a tie-dyeing kit, and it was, like, tie-dyeing string, so it didn't get everywhere. So, it was basically, like, I didn't tie-dye that part on mistake. Um, so yeah, you just put the colored string on a wet piece of fabric, and you, like, wrapped it around it, and then it had this, like, cool design. Maybe I could find a video to put that clip in. Maybe I'll end up finding the footage for that, and you can see that's kind of what it looks like. I have used this bag a few times since I made it. I made it, like, a month or two ago. I don't really remember. That's how long I haven't filmed, okay? So the next one, wait, can I put you guys up? Um, here. I don't know if you can see me right now. I hope you can see me. Um, next one is my second favorite. Is this very, this is the first ever shirt I tied, so that's why it's very, very pastel. If you want to go check out my Instagram and you want to go into my tie-dyeing highlight, I did wear my purple shirt in that. Um, yeah, go follow me on Instagram. It's Bricky underscore the underscore, um, Cookie, if you want to go follow me and look at all my tie-dyeing stuff. If you just want to go into my highlighting, highlighter, highlighter, go into my tie-dyeing highlight on Instagram, and I'll show you all the things that I tie dyed except for these two things. That um, no, one thing. I think the bag wasn't on there. Okay, anyway, I'll show you guys. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of pastel. Looks a little bit darker on camera, which I'm kind of happy about. And it also has a very tiny crop top. I'm a very tiny human, so this is why it looks so short. It looks like a bra on here. Look at that, like that. <laughs> That's my hand compared to it. So it's not as tiny. So it goes blue, then a pink, then a orange. It's like a greeny blue. And it fades into more of a... So it's supposed to be like the swirl type of thing. So I was just going for the you know, main look. Anyway, that's my one shirt. Maybe I'll do like a fashion show wearing all these. I'm not sure yet. So let me, let me go to the next one. So, and the next one, oh God, please stay, is this orange one. This one has a sale on the front. It would have been the purple shirt and then this one. But, um, yeah, these are my least favorites to my favorites. Um, so this one has a big stain on the front. And I think it was before I tied that it, you can see. Right there. I don't know why I had the stain on it, but it does. So these are really pretty colors. Um I love I'm a big fan of oranges and pinks and all that kind of stuff. So it has a yellow, then it like a pink color. It was supposed to be orange, then yellow, then pink. But you can see this is like a cool pattern. Um, but I did, I ran out of red food dye, so it's kind of more yellowy and pink. Anyway, I do wear that one a lot, but I don't really like how there's a stain on the front of it. And the last thing, that's for my dog that I gave him. Well, I had to take it off of him, but it's this cool bandana. I'm a big fan of bandanas because they don't, I don't think they hurt your dog that much because most big jackets, big clothing will bother your dog. Um... But bandanas are just like a thing around the neck. I don't think it's that bad for the dog. Personally, I don't know how dogs feel about it. I don't know. But um, if I can untie this. Hold on. I'm sorry. So I never tie my bandana. Also, I'm sorry it's so like, like scrappy or whatever. I made this out of an old white shirt. I cut the white shirt. It's not perfect, okay? So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, and yeah, I love these things he i love the same bandana on him i love it this was also with that kit where you put the string on there 
it's so pretty but the, it like stops here it's like a rec it's like a i don't know what kind of shape that is it's like a like a triangly kind of thing i don't know so it's like stripe 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 and then it goes into like a triangly kind of thing over there there's the back um so blue i have blue on here orange and yellow anyway um, maybe I'll do a quick fashion show really fast on just everything. Alright, so there's this shirt. It's very nice. I like it. I always, I love it. I'm really into crop tops right now, so. There you go. Here's the next one. It's a very, very faint. Sorry, it's really short, okay? It's a very faint. There you go. I need to um, model the bandana <laughs> or the bag. And I wanted to also tell you guys something. Um, so, yeah. So I'll save that little thing I was going to tell you guys for a different video. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hope you enjoyed.